Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make a super simple but clean looking thumbnail. And I'm even going to provide a link to the template so you guys don't even have to make it. You can just click on the link down below and just type in your text and you're done. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so once you're at Photopea, we're just going to click on new project and type in 1280 by 720. That is the thumbnail size. Feel free to name it whatever you want and hit create. Once you hit create, a white canvas will appear and what you want to do is double click on the background layer, go to color overlay and change that to a dark gray like this and hit OK and OK. Now what you want to do is get your pen tool on the left side, change the fill to a darker gray than the background like this, maybe about here, 2C, 2C, 2C right here and hit OK. Now you just want to click and then go down here to the bottom right. Hold left click and drag your mouse a little bit to create like a little, uh, sorry, this way actually. You create a little like wave over here and then go back, click. And now it should look like this once you click off. Okay. You want to do that three times. So we're going to go back to the pen tool, change this to a lighter gray about this light. And we're going to do it up here. See, you just basically do that. And then a darker gray. And you can even move it down if you want. Just adjust it until it's what you want. I'm just gonna go with this. Looks all right to me. Maybe down a little bit more. And now we're ready to make the text. So go ahead and get your text tool on the left and type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna type in thumbnail. Once you type it, hit control A to select all of it and go up here to your size and turn it up. Make sure this layer is on top of all the shapes you just made. So the size caps out at 150, but you could just type in any number you want. Or another way to do it is to just hit that check mark and hit control alt and T. Here you can, you know, adjust the size manually. And if you hold shift, it won't warp. But you can make it the exact size you want without having to type in a bunch of numbers. So also the font we're going to be using is called passion right here. Here's how you spell it. And the size is going to be 244. Just hit that check mark again and we're ready to move on. So what we're going to do now is add a gradient overlay on this text. So double click on that text layer and go over to gradient overlay. Check that box, click that box, and then go here into the gradient menu. We're just going to drag this box down quite a bit. The scale is going to be like 186. So it's like this. And then maybe negative 19 for the X. Well, I guess it doesn't even matter because it's horizontal already. But maybe the Y you want to change to like 14. And now I think we're done with this one. Now we're going to add an inner glow. So go ahead and click on the inner glow box. And we're going to add a gray inner glow. And we're going to change the blend mode to color dodge. So right here, 100% opacity, five spread and about like 35 size. And now you can see it has a cool effect to it. I really like it. And now what we're going to do is add a drop shadow, simple drop shadow, 90 degree angle, turn the distance down quite a bit and the opacity. So it's like that. Hit okay. We're done with that top text. Now hit control J to duplicate this text layer and move this down. Double click on it to type in your own text. I'm going to type in template. I'm going to move it to the center, wherever that is right here. But this time I'm going to change the color to like a yellowish orange. So go to gradient overlay, double click on this black box, choose a color here and then choose another color here. Like that. So that's what I'm going for. I'm gonna move this up a little bit more. And now you're done. So it's super easy to do and it looks great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the description if you want to get to the template. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.